fact that we've got really talented individuals, many schools will have that, but they come together in ensembles of different scale, up to a, a quarter of the school when it comes to the nine lessons and carols are involved. And that spirit comes out through the singing, it's stood shoulder to shoulder, uh, and it's the joy through singing. And that's both in the formal occasions like the concerts and the carol services, but also informally. When the D of E groups are up on a mountain and they're having a really tough time, when the rugby team have just won a fixture, what do they do? They sing. And why do they sing? Because singing is in our culture. It's what we do. It's part of the school. Well, I started singing when I was in year seven. So all those years ago, and since then I've just done so much of it. It's been amazing. Um, things like the Rutter Requiem, and also a lot of stuff outside of school that the schools helped me to get involved with. I'm a scholar with a group called Armonico Consort, who are the director of music here. It helped me to get involved with in the first place. I've done loads with them. I've also done some recording with the group Ex Cathedra, another opportunity presented by the school. And then just in every school concert, there's just so many opportunities and it's brilliant. At King Edward VI School we have three different choirs that all rehearse on a Friday morning and that's the lower school choir that I take and then Richard Sampson Marr takes the middle school choir and Rebecca Mills takes the sixth form choir. So on a Friday morning there's some singing going on for that half an hour before lessons start which is a fantastic way for nearly 200 students to be starting the day. Typical sixth form choir rehearsal, well getting them to stand up, to warm up, to wake up is the biggest challenge, I think, um, because it's first thing in the morning. I think the highlight is always seeing the progression from those early tentative rehearsals to the final performance, where a group of boys stands up in front of a large audience, um, often with no sheet music, no instruments to hide behind, and they bring the music to life. They um, invoke uh, an emotional response from the audience and I think that's that's a, a magical moment. On a Tuesday after school we have a chapel choir, that's an auditioned choir which Rebecca Mills directs and that includes students from year seven right up to year 13 who sing in a four-part harmony soprano, alto, tenor and bass. We're very fortunate to have fantastic support from the head and his senior team who come along to all our concerts and really give us a lot of support with the amount of singing that goes on in school. Well, there's lots of evidence to show that those that are involved in music do better academically for all sorts of reasons. Um, but I think it's, it's more intrinsic than that. It's about character development and that it's about commitment to, to a group, to fellow singers. Uh, and it's about um, aiming high and sharing that aspiration to produce the very best performances. And through that, they are developing their characters. There's no doubt about that. We do a lot of singing in class, all the way from Year 7, where they're preparing for their Year 7 concert. They sing all together, and then all the way through up to Year 13, we use singing as a vehicle to learn about music and enjoy singing. In school they have lots of different opportunities to perform, so some students perform in assembly, and then we have a variety of different concerts and recitals throughout the year, as well as our more official school events like the service of Nine Lessons of Cat and Carols at Christmas. And we're very fortunate that we are very near to the local parish church, Holy Trinity, and we do a school service in the afternoon there, as well as an evening event.
and then we also sing in the Guild Chapel, which is always a highlight of the year for those members of Chapel Choir. I think there's a lot of evidence that singing is beneficial to health, it's beneficial to well-being, but it's also that sense of being a group of um, different year groups coming together and becoming one unit. I think rehearsals fall into three main um, areas. First of all, we need to learn the actual parts. Then there is the familiarity, um, lots of repetitions, singing together in parts to gain confidence. And then there's the finer details, looking at the phrasing and the dynamics um, to communicate the meaning of the piece. So I joined KES in year 12, I was a new student and straight away I joined chapel choir as well as school choir as it was then and vocal consort which was a smaller group taken from the chapel choir and it was uh, nice because it was a much more sort of intimate opportunity to sing with the people that you were singing with as well as with the audience. Sit Form Choir, I think their first performance in the Michaelmas concert was just, it was so lovely to see them all because they hadn't performed before and some of them hadn't sung in public for a long time so that was that was really nice we did a very upbeat song and they all relaxed and because we had a band as well they got into it with the band and they were kind of bopping away and it was it was just a really lovely atmosphere so that was very special for me and then chapel choir I think it had to be the service of nine lessons and carols and everybody was really pulling together favorite part has to be the performances I think and the buzz that comes off the students afterwards and it was just it's just great to see them having enjoyed performing so much and, and having got so much out of all the work that they've put into it. We talk about ethos and values and vision but we rarely talk about spirit and the spirit of the school and I think the spirit is manifested in this school through singing. It's the sheer joy that you see on their faces when they're singing and that they choose to sing. We're still in the chapel uh, right now and behind you is the stained glass window and it is my greatest joy in a week sitting in this seat here and seeing the sun streaming through that, uh, that window and hearing the choir sing. It is the, it is the most uplifting point of my week. I think the thing that I enjoy the most about the choirs here is the feeling of camaraderie and the joy that everybody gets from singing together. We've got great links with a variety of different professional setups. So, for example, Ex Cathedra, a local choir who's based in Birmingham, we did some recording with them last summer, and the National Youth Choir of Great Britain have been a great support to us. We've had some fantastic workshops led by some of their students that work there as well as the artistic director and leader of one of their choirs who came to sing with our students earlier this year. As a result of that quite a few students have auditioned and been successful in taking part in their choirs and I went along to the concert at Coventry Cathedral having chatted to the boy who was in one of the choirs there afterwards he actually said to me that it was the best thing he's done in his life so far, which was a fantastic thing to hear as a result of something they'd had an opportunity to do in school. Well, my highlights. Well, uh, last year we actually performed the Mozart Requiem with lots of other schools when we went down to Salisbury to sing. It was such a kind of new piece of music that we hadn't sung before and it was really amazing and we sung with an orchestra and there was a big audience there and it was just, it was just great. Our choral singing in school is very much supported by our fantastic singing teachers. So Matthew Smallwood has a whole day of teaching individuals as well as Rebecca Mills who 
also directs the chapel choir and they really encourage the students to hone their skills. We've got a lovely sunlight light up there. You can imagine that's the sunlight coming out. It's a happy song. Happy song. Here we go again. One, two, one, two, three, go. We have an annual trip down to St Peter's College in Oxford where the students take part in an even song and learn about the different choral tradition that is available to them if they wish to apply for a choral scholarship there. Every other year we take the students on tour. Last year we went to France and Germany and enjoyed a variety of concerts abroad which was great fun. We performed two concerts in France and one in Germany. It was really nice to see people who actually weren't our parents um, really enjoying the music we were playing for them. I remember one concert in particular, we were in a square in France and it was really nice because there were people who were at restaurants and things and they just turned around their chairs to listen to us and they were having a really nice time. I remember a couple of people leaning out of windows in the houses opposite. We sang Baba Yeti which was a real highlight for all the singers who took part because that was also singing with members of the orchestra playing to accompany them. I'd say there are definitely opportunities for people who aren't as confident at singing, um, the various school choirs. They're a great way for um, people to gain confidence and communication skills. Another thing I really like about KES is that um, in the lower school choir we sing such a variety of songs, um, such as songs from musicals or songs from even Fiji. Um, another thing that I really like is that all my friends are part of the low school choir, which makes it a really nice community to be a part of. Energised, excited and ready to start the day. On a high. Happy, excited and energised. Confident. Happy, relaxed and passionate. Ready, relaxed and good. Lively. Revitalised. Excited, joyful and confident. Relaxed, energetic and joyful. Hungry. <laughs> Five seconds to comply. Five. 